Well, hello there, it's Rooney, and welcome back to Rooney's List. For this video, I'm gonna be talking about Windows versus Mac for engineering, the best type of computer when it comes to engineering. So a little bit about me. I am studying civil engineering at Louisiana State University, and I will be graduating, because it's going to be my senior year, and hopefully I'll be graduating as a civil engineer. But with that, let's just get this video started. Simple answer, get a Windows computer. Why? Because I've been in a class where the group project, we had to use a certain type of software and I was the only one with my Windows computer and other three people in my group had MacBooks and I was the only one who was able to run the program and that made me do more work. So get a Windows, just get it. Just get a Windows computer. Why? Because most software is like AutoCAD, MicroStation, or any type of engineering software. It is designed and programmed to run on a Windows computer, not a MacBook, a Windows computer. Almost always, those with a Windows computer running these engineering softwares, they're gonna run into less technical problems compared to someone with a MacBook. I have experienced this myself, literally me and my friend doing the same steps on the software. Mine ran perfectly, theirs did not. And sometimes those with MacBooks were unable to open certain types of programs. Also, any computer in your engineering building and college or an engineering firm or company, they're going to have Windows computers. And if they do have a MacBook in their office or in the classroom, it most probably has Windows running through the computer. And it's best to practice using Windows in college. So when you enter the working field and you get hired by an engineering company, you're already used to using a Windows computer because literally Windows does one thing and then a MacBook is literally the opposite. I prefer Windows, as I do have a MacBook, but I really, the Windows is my baby. So what's wrong with the Macs? The Macs are just so incompatible with these engineering softwares because in the engineering world, Windows just dominates these programs and there is no point for developers to spend money to create these softwares according to Macs because there's just a smaller industry for that because most of the time, well, Windows for engineering purposes and people have Macs to like edit and it's just more of a aesthetic when it comes to Macs when like vloggers or it feels like Macs, they target the aesthetic and the pleasing look of it and the video editing through it. And I think that's what Macs are usually designed for. So is it okay that you already own a Mac and you're going to college and you realize that personal computers are hella expensive, but you're going to engineering and you have a Mac and you're freaking out that these softwares won't work through your Mac? Well, they can because there is a way to run Windows through your MacBook and I will insert a video right up here because there's already so many videos that show how to do it and I specifically don't know how to do it. So I'm just gonna connect you to someone who can. So if you're curious and want to know what computer I use as an engineering student, I have been using the Surface Pro, not this MacBook, this MacBook is pretty new. So, this Surface Pro has lasted me through three years of college and I will be using it for my final year at college and it has been so efficient, has been able to run all of my engineering softwares, never had a problem with it, it has been efficient and I think I made a really good decision with this Surface Pro. Usually there's like a window sign here but I covered it with a little flower sticker but pricing of when I bought it, I bought it in like June of 2018 when they came out with all the college deals, you know, always wait for that. So when it comes to the Surface Pro, it comes in a tablet form with like a detachable keyboard. They come separately, so you have to pay for them separately. So for like the screen tablet part, that costed me about $800. And then I bought the keyboard and that was like $115. And I also paid for warranty. Um, my dad's really huge on warranty, so that's why we got it. I only used it once. I think it was worth it, but 
maybe you don't need it. It depends on what your price range is. And I paid like $230 at Best Buy for warranty. And altogether, I paid $1,250 USD. Personally, I think that's pretty good for a computer. And yeah, I think it was worth the price. I did not pay for it, but it was a graduation gift, which I'm very thankful for. Also, what I like about the Surface Pro is that it's super lightweight compared to a MacBook. So when it comes to school, the only thing that's in my backpack is my Surface Pro, my iPad, and that is it. So my backpack is super lightweight and easy on my back because I also ride my bike around campus. <laughs> Only thing I don't like about the Surface Pro is the detachable keyboard because I find it to be kind of flimsy and the mouse pad, I think it like goes in and out. So it doesn't work the best because I spilled some water on it. So I just like connect a mouse and use that way because my new keyboard is $115 and I just don't feel like paying for it. So I just bought like a $10 mouse. Also, I never use it as a tablet. I didn't want to pay for the pen that comes with the Surface Pro because that's another like $100 or $200. And I just, I just don't like windows tablets it's not my favorite so i did buy an ipad so and that's just more efficient i have a video on how i use my ipad as an engineering student of course i'll put it up there as a card so you can go check out that video and yeah but i have enjoyed using this surface pro and also the surface book is pretty cool too like if i were to go back and like buy a new computer for engineering. I'll probably get the Surface Book because that's, that's one, that one's pretty cool. With that, that was the end of this video and hopefully it was helpful for all those students going to be freshmen, going into engineering. I want to wish you the best of luck because it is a stressful degree to get. So best of luck to your first year or your second year or your third year or your fourth year or your fifth year, depending on, you know, timing of your life and what you're capable of. So with that, catch y'all later. And this is Rooney signing out. Peace.